Dave here with Half Dozen Customs. Uh, yesterday we were at a show that had a swap meet and I picked up a stoplight. Uh, I've always wanted to have one of these so um, right now I'm just going to do a little testing and I'm going to see if I can hook it up and get it working. Um, the guy that was selling them was actually hooking them, hooking them up and working but by the time I made it to him to purchase this one he was done for the night so uh, he sold it to me not hooked up with the plug or switch or anything like that so for right now i think i'm just going to try and wire it up to uh, excuse me <laughs> i couldn't hold that one in <laughs> Snorting and burping and snorting and yeah. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So right now, anyways, I'm gonna just try and see if I can hook an extension cord up to this. See if we can power on all three lights. Um, I'm gonna mount it on the outside of the shop and, and we'll eventually uh, hook it up on some switches. So each individual one uh, works on a switch. And they also have uh, they have a chipboard on Amazon. You can get them anywhere from thirty bucks to uh, sixty bucks. Um, that will work the lights just like a real street light would work, where it's all set on timers and and it'll go through each individual light. So um, that'll be eventually. But for right now, um, we'll just see if we can get it hooked up. Um, this cable runs through into here comes out uh it looks like the black is not hooked to anything that is probably an earth ground um and then we have uh white that is neutral and then the colors that are are powered and uh the green works the green light the orange works the yellow light uh and the red works uh the red light so pretty simple pretty self-explanatory if you know electrical um, inside here there's the five wires. We have the black wire, which is our earth, we have yellow, we have green, um, and we have red and white. So, um, so I should be able to just hook the white out of the extension cord to the white, um, and then hook the power side to, uh, these three wires and all three lights should kick on. So, so let's see if I can, uh, get this to work. Um, first, I'm just gonna I'm gonna cut this sheathing back. That this black sheathing that's on there. Um, hopefully, without cutting myself. Um, this stuff's pretty. This is like you know, heavy duty electrical. So, and it's old, so it's brittle. Um, and this is actually uh, the guy that we got it from. He had he had metal ones and plastic ones, um, and the plastic ones were all gone by the time I got there, which is fine. I really wanted the one of the plastic one, um, but he had uh, he had these metal ones, which are uh, older generations, um, and they're pretty pretty darn heavy, um, especially when you got to carry it through a show. Um, Luckily, uh, part of the way through the show, we ran into somebody with a golf cart, and they let me load it up in the golf cart, and it took it took us back to our truck. So, but I still had to walk half the show trying to carry this thing. Should be enough for me to get to everything. I'll just clip this back. So, that's nothing, that's just insulation. I can clip him back too, we don't need him. So we know the black one's not being used by looking at the board inside. So I don't need to do anything with the black one. 
Got a neutral and three powers. They do sometimes they don't I forget how to use this I'm being a noob he's a bit of a noob we don't like electrical huh you don't like electrical hmm I don't like electrical on cars, electrical on houses. Totally different. Oh. What did you do? Just, it's, the, the wire must be brittle. that I actually pulled out of the neighbor's garbage. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, that's what I'll use to test it and see if it works. I don't have it plugged in. See if we can burn the place down. Come on, Boogie, let's burn this motherfucker down! The worker won't. Yeah, so it was a, uh, it was simple. Um, I guess, you know, it's a little simpler for me. I used to do, uh, I used to wire up new homes. So I've been doing home electrical for a long time. Um, I know exactly what wires are what. Um, this is basically wired up just like, you know, your home outlet would be. So, fairly simple. And now if you wanted to run a switch in between on this cord, uh, you can just have a switch for on and off. So, um, and hopefully, you know, hopefully coming up in the in the near future, I'll be making a video of me hanging it up outside, um, and I will be hooking it up to a switch, at least. Um, I would actually like to hook each light up individually. Um, have the green for shop open, have yellow for filming, 
uh, and red for shop closed. So, uh, so that, that was the thought behind it before I even purchased this. Uh, we had been talking about getting one for a while for that purpose. So, but watch out for uh, some videos in the future of, of more work with this light. Thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed it. I didn't burn the shop down. I'm out. Um, I'm just gonna set it outside and see how bright it is. It's nighttime out, so. Stuck. You don't realize how big they are until you like stand next to them. Those things feel like hanging out in the middle of the street. Yeah, they're, they're big. They're, you know, probably three and a half, four feet tall.